the wrap up. I had to go to my tablet. It is nice. weird. You cannot have but so many uh, devices and your devices will cut off. That is crazy. Like if I have this phone on or this tablet on, then the TV just shut off. Wow. This stuff this this stuff is not in technology does not integrate with itself well at all. Why? Because somebody was cheap with the technology and they didn't know what they were doing. And that's why a lot of people are dying of radiation cancer and a whole bunch of things that they're calling something else. But it's basically radiation and too much, you know, technology going astray and they want to get at you, okay? And that's why a lot of people are going to be dying, okay? And they got to shoot you, shoot you, shot, 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 shots, one way or the other. You got to kill people to like literally eliminate the fact that you were killing people anyway. You see why mm, we don't really like her and she needs to be taken out, okay? But these babies, how are you going to have a world that grows into a better world if you kill off the real and you replace it with robots or assimilated children or children who don't even have any minds or don't even have any parents? Next thing you know, everybody's going to be thinking that two mommies can have a baby, two daddies can have a baby, and that's the norm, not the fact that a mommy and a daddy has the baby. I'm not saying your family structure is your family structure, but when you want to make it where a heterosexual man and a heterosexual woman is not, you don't, you don't want to normalize that. You want to you want to normalize homosexual homosexual, but you want to like denormalize heterosexual. That's the problem that I have. I don't have a problem with you being gay. I have a problem with you denormalizing the fact that you have people who are straight who knows how alchemy and how magic and how nature works. Okay? Like you're you're not you're not animals. Even animals get that. Do you see a male horse going to another male horse and having horses? No. You see a male dog going to another male dog and expecting to have puppies? No. You see a male cat going, do you see a female cat going to another female cat and expecting to get kittens? No. Choice is choice. But right is right and wrong is wrong. Where is your voice? Where is the voice for the person? Where is room for my diversity? In this society, when you start, when you start denormalizing me, the smart black woman, the smart sexy. I'm sexy. Why do I have to have makeup or eyelashes that look like bats to say I'm beautiful around some fake ass bubble head, bobble head. I'm going to cut my hair out for a trend. I'm going to dye my hair blonde, blue, black, and all and pink and purple or whatever else. And I'm going to get in. And what? What type of job do you have? You on your back. What are you doing? Are you writing a book about your life? Are you helping your own kids, right? What do you do? I mean, what really do you do? How are you helping the community? How are you helping you? The fact that some of these people, I'm helping the community. I'm an activist for a community. And you can't even be an activist for you. And then when you see someone who really does do it, you want to crucify that person. The fact that I have helped the industry, and we've been talking about what the industry has been doing with radio, black radio, and just the whole entire industry. Mitch Faulkner and I from the Edge magazine, and shout out to the Edge team, but even some of you fell for the wrong dream because that same entity that was getting me got you on it and got you on the team. You didn't even realize that you fell off. So now I cut off everybody because I don't know who, I don't, I don't know who's left. I don't know. But now I'm the boss of my own world. And the only thing I am depending on is me, mom and dad. And that's why I say my mom and dad is God. So I look at my mom and dad is God because, you know, two masters raised me. And you want to say I'm the one that's crazy. But clearly, I'm walking my walk. I'm talking my talk. I'm paying my bills. The car that I drive, I broke it, that deal. Nobody broke that deal for me. The house that I'm in, the, the, the stuff that I'm in, the stuff, you know, like I, I try to fix it up and do it. I'm not scamming off of anybody. The land that I should have. That was stolen from me. I don't even want it back. I'm not going to clean it up and give it to muggles who live off the shit for free. No, you keep having 50,000 babies and work your magic on me and see what that magic come back on you. Because you know what grandmommy and grandpapa, and grandpapa told me to tell you? Watch what I do in 2023. It's a personal year. And I don't know anybody. To those who have helped me in the past, I love you sincerely. This includes my radio people, too. I don't know who you are and what you do, but I know there's some radio people who have been smiling in my face, and you know what? You're going to get all that hate. Meet the Fockers, man. This is a lesson in this. Ooh. It's stuff like this. See, I'm not a boys in the hood chick. 
I mean, honestly, I did not really watch Poetic Justice. You know, I love the song, but I, I really didn't watch Poetic I'm not that type of chick. It's just like with Good Times and everybody was like, Good Times? And I, let me tell you, Good Times was great, but notice how they killed off the black man in that too. That's what that industry will do. And that's why I said, I don't give a damn. I'm not afraid of anybody, whether you're Italian or Jewish. Bitch, you won't come from me, and we all know why. Don't we? Don't we? I'm not Kanye. I'm not Kim. I'm not Willow or Jaden or Will. Or Jada. I'm none of them. I'm not Lhasa Pippen. I'm none of them. I'm not Odessa. I'm not Pass a Bitch. <laughs> I'm not any of that shit. I'm not like none of the Joneses you know. Don't look at these people as my family. If you haven't talked to me, I don't know none of those hoes. <laughs> I'm just sitting here in my soul glow in the Ranger Manger, the Ranger Manger show. On a Sunday, sermon number two. Well, well, well. You know, last week, which the video I'm going to show in a minute my walk against narcissism and I was walking and the weather was just like this all of a sudden it was just like this. it started out beautiful and I wanted to like go walking to the other Carver's Creek and I went walking and you know me and found a pond I mean, it was another one of those walks like but I pay attention I've learned how to pay attention that was my lesson for me you always be doing stuff pay a little bit of attention but that's part of my journey that's how I learned I mean, like, when you start going into too much instruction, I, like, I, I become, like, uh, what is it that you want me to do? What's your end goal? Okay, thank you. Got it. And then I, I always do it. I always do it. One thing, all of my teachers will always tell you, she always ate, she always passed her test. She is the best. Can any of my cousins say I did less and show it. So you can believe this Q over there, this Q over there, or any of these hoes that don't know me really, the ones who've been trying to steal and pass off as me. Did I hear that some of these people were making fake profiles and they were making fake profiles of me? That's why I said, dear God, dear mom, dear dad, please keep these bitches away from me because you know I will break their necks and ain't nobody got, I am too pretty and too valuable to be sitting in jail for killing a, for, for killing a sub cell. I'm going to let nature do that. Because that's the way, that's the beautiful way that you can kill yourself. Whew. I feel like I need to light up this CBD. But I, I, I'm, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to chill and do this naturally. Because I can't. Some of these people can't do anything without a drink. Without a tab. And like I said, at best, as far as, as best, I've done a little weed and some CBD. But beside, I don't, I don't, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm, none of that so the thought that somebody would want to try to pass off some DMT or a tab to me I've had enough people try to spike my drinks you know what happened a long time ago at the spectrum if you're in Fayetteville you know where I'm talking about where the spectrum was from Merkson Road and that's another thing we had all the best clubs back in a time when the when Vietnam was Vietnam and the ultimate party place everybody knew about this place okay we were known worldwide they knew about us in Korea they knew about us in Japan they knew about us in Germany they knew about us in Saudi Arabia they knew about Fort Bragg all over the place Fort Bragg Vietnam it still is we trying to change the name it's now Fort Liberty and Fayetteville the all American city City is still Fort Bragg and Vietnam. Don't get it twisted, or you will find yourself in harm if you believe any of these people to be your friends. They're not. They want your money. They want your money. And they came from me because I was telling you, be careful. Watch what they do. Don't listen to their talk. Watch. Pay attention. There's intelligence in you. I'm talking to the intelligent crew. Military brats get it. 
that's why every time military brats got into any of these other schools right off the bat, I know you were met with jealousy, right? You didn't know what happened. You just stepped in with your happy little life, your happy little selves. You ready to go. And then right out the, right out the gate, you were met with jealousy. You were met with hate. It was personal and it wasn't you. That's just how they are. There's only three factions here. Slave, slave master, troublemaker. And just about every military brat, if you were raised by good parents, you're a troublemaker. Because you're smart. You're intelligent. And this place does not operate on intelligence. It operates on clout chasing. It operates on shadows. It operates on trends. It operates on, it wants to be big so bad. It wants to be the big Freemasons. It wants to be the big Eastern Stars. It wants to control everything. But the thing about it is, the energy that set this whole thing up, this code up, they are not happy because you all have fucked everything up and there must be an answer to that. And you know what? There's always going to come a time when you have that one person or that one thing that will remind you, that will tell you you're going on a wrong road. And then one of two things happen. You either crucify and kill them or they walk away. Well, you crucified me in 2022. So in 2023, I'm walking away. I had said what I had to say. But if mag is magic real and alchemy real? Oh, very much so. Whether you believe in it or not. But the thing about it is, they were already in my DNA blocks. I didn't read these books most of the time. Can you imagine if I had a really paid attention? Can you imagine if I... Can you imagine if I really was what they say I was? They wouldn't. You're fucked up. You came for the wrong one. You came for the gift. And by your own hands and your own words, you sacrificed it. What do you think God would do? What would a supreme intelligence do? How would a supreme intelligence handle you? I know this world has been full of people who have raised up on precarious situations. And that will continue to be like that too in every situation. But there will always come a time and a paradigm when shit changes. Why would someone call you Barry Poppins? They wouldn't. And I'm not really Mary Poppins. You know, I'm gonna leave it at that. Do you believe in magic? I don't know. All I know is that on some level, I'm a, I feel a teeny bit sorry for the people who didn't know who they were dealing with. And on another level, I'm not. And honey, you want me to make it stop? It's just beginning. You did this. You owe. You owe the Reaper and the Reaper's kid. To that person down the street, you know who I am? Do you know who I am? To the people in the community, how much do they pay you to spy on me? How is it working for you now? And I'm still being me. I'm fine. I'm gonna try this on. Thank you. Buddy. Trying to be like who? Nobody. And no, madam. Let's nobody can be like me. For the mama to wear. Look at this little number. Whoa. I think this will get Jack's blood flowing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you best believe in 2023, and from here on out, I'm going to be the best. Oh, that is nice. Really good. Me that I can man. be. He seems very tight. Jack's always been a little. Loud. And if you don't see people hanging with me, it's on purpose. They didn't leave me. I left them. Boom!
Boom. <laughs> the house is focused. This is an aesthetic today, isn't it? It is. Hope you learned something. This literally is the best sermon you will get today. You better watch. Well, I don't care what you do. I don't care. Just, uh. What shall I say? Intimate contact. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, that tingles. Every pleasure in the body can be stimulated through the ears. Anyway, gotta love, gotta love myself to Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. I can relate to her. I would love to get in a conversation with this lady. She reminds me of the Barbara from Tennessee long, 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 long time ago when I was at Foxy 99 when I got my chart done back then. What was that, like 83, 84, 85? So I've been knowing about this stuff. My mom was into this stuff. You know, but I've been knowing about my chart since 83, 84, 85. I just didn't follow instructions, right? You know, you see it. Like, I'm, I'm, me, I'm typically me. If you go through, and the funny thing is I gave people my chart so they could see that I'm really about that walk. But what did they do? They turned around and used that information, what they thought was against me, and didn't realize you were a tool for the devil to prove to the world just who I be. I could not have given me better publicity than what you have given me. And I didn't have to pay for a thing except almost my sanity and my life. But the price, 